Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now let's get right in today's content, which is regarding quant. If you guys like these kind of videos, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, come join the Crypto ZX army. But now if we're looking at the price of QNT, currently trading at $111.79. We're down about 5% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative, also down about 0.3% in Bitcoin comparative. But in Ethereum comparative, quant is up about 1.8%. If we're looking at its market cap, the market cap is currently sitting at $1.6 billion and the 24-hour trading volume is currently sitting at $35 million. Now let's shift our focus on the price analysis and see what is happening with QNT and where we could be going in the immediate short term. As always guys, just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So if we're looking at the price of Quant right now, currently trading at $111.88, but something very interesting is happening within its price. So let's zoom in a little bit and see what exactly is going on. So basically, as you guys can see, over basically since the, since the beginning of the year, mainly the price of quant has been within the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. Yes, we did see wicks below it uh, go down to that $106 uh, one time. And obviously today we're seeing a wick after you know BTC retracement, which is causing the entire market to react. And we're finding ourselves back below uh, the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. And this shows that there is some support built up around this range where we are being supported by for the previous levels of resistance, which are playing as a level of support for us. Uh, but now comes the question, what is the future for QNT? One thing I want you guys to keep in mind is remember, you know, when things were looking extremely, extremely bearish uh, in the bear market, Quant was one of the projects, one of the very few projects that made a massive spike in a bear market. We saw it almost touch the 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level. If I bring out the measuring tool for you guys, so let's say you picked it up at its low at $42 last June, you saw uh, Quant go up up almost 450 percent since then and you know even now as of recording this video even if you picked it up that time even now you are still up almost 170 percent so what exactly is going on why is qnt not breaking right now uh, like we want it to be doing uh, hitting those all-time highs uh, you know especially yearly highs for the price of qnt number one is obviously as i've mentioned it had a head start so we need to give it respect you know it needs to consolidate and that's exactly what we're seeing happening with the price of QNT. And what I'm seeing right now is quite healthy. You do want to see QNT build more stronger support around this 0.50, I'm sorry, the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level before we do see a breakout towards the upside. Obviously, right now, us being below the 78.6 Fib level is due to the fact that Bitcoin is seeing a cool off, which again is quite normal. Bitcoin has shown what it's capable of doing, the power of Bitcoin. It's a king. And you know it's here to stay and it has made that statement for itself but we're seeing a little bit of a cool off happen within the price of bitcoin and obviously btc dominance is starting to increase a little bit compared to yesterday which is causing altcoins majority of the altcoins across the board to go down and lag behind bitcoin and that's exactly what we're seeing qnt do as well uh, but you guys know my stance on qnt i really do believe this project considering what it's doing means it's a quite slept on project and let's not underestimate made this you know when no one wanted to touch crypto you know qnt made a move to 227 dollars and you know if you were kicking yourself at that time especially if you have done your due diligence and research and you want to have quant in your portfolio what's better picking it up at 111 dollars or picking it up at 228 dollars you let me know because if i bring out the measuring tool for you guys you know qnt is still away about 104 percent until it gets to back to that spot where we were at the high of last last year. So that really gets me excited. I believe QNT has, you know, quite a, you know, quite a quite some impressive things for itself and i really do believe this project has the capability of becoming a four digit coin so a thousand plus and you know now you may be saying crypto zx what makes you say that remember you know guys remember this is what a lot of people tend to forget so we saw QNT hit an all-time high last year of uh, $432. And if 
history were to repeat itself as of now, which it has been doing, Bitcoin were to hit $120,000. And even if QNT remained in this specific zone at that top 40th spot, I would not be surprised if Quant was to be trading at high 800s to even above a thousand dollars you've heard that correct i've made a whole price prediction on it and i see um, that come into a reality uh, but again only time is going to tell remember this is not financial advice uh, it's just uh, you know my own personal opinion but i'm very very confident that the qnt has what it takes to pull those numbers off and um, obviously it is going to have some times where we're going to see some sideways momentum some boring momentum coming in our way but this is where you do not want to get discouraged if you really believe in the project you want to be you know dollar cost averaging in and having patience and that is going to pay off in the long haul so what i would love to see qnt obviously do is get back in the 78.6 which is no secret at this point and most importantly start creeping back up to this massive level of resistance you guys can see the importance at the beginning of the year we got rejected and since then never really managed to get back up to that but remember altcoin season hasn't even started so when altcoin season really does start i really do believe quant is going to obviously organically move towards the upside but what I'm seeing right now is very nice and I'm totally okay with what QNT is doing and I'm really bullish on the future of quant especially next year when uh, you know historically speaking should be a quite a uh, parabolic type of season for the cryptocurrency market and I really do believe quant is going to be already at that zone at the end of this year like um, you know the four two hundred and twenty seven dollars I think we would even be higher than that I do expect an altcoin season uh, you know to kind of trickle uh, and we already saw the uh, trickling effect happen when ETH went up above $2,000. And I see that coming, um, you know, again, uh, very, very soon, especially when Bitcoin finds a little bit of a spot where it can start trading sideways. I do expect BTC dominance to continue to fall towards the downside. This is where altcoins are going to explode. So, you know, people still have time. People still have time to accumulate their bags. And um, I really do believe that 2024 is going to be that parabolic zone where things go absolutely insane. Uh, and yeah, so far what I'm seeing for Quant is definitely what I want to be seeing. But let me know down below what you guys think, where you can see the price of QNT going. And let me know if you guys want to see more updates. Love you all. See you tomorrow in Crypto ZX and peace out.